A very good day to everyone. Midsummer, cucumber time. And I tell you straight away, of all the cucumbers, I like melons the most. And I grow them in my greenhouse for about 10 years now. It took a while before I dared to start with melons, as it is typically southern product. And I live not far from the northern sea. Besides, the melon plant is a creeping vine, which needs a lot of space. Those were my points of hesitation. After I was tired to hesitate, I said to myself, if you can grow cucumbers, melons should also work. And it works indeed, but in its own funny way. What do you expect? It is a kind of fruit among the vegetables. Well, in this video I'll tell you about these funny things I've learned about melon. Sowing melons is like buying melons. You must have luck. Not every melon plant is the same. There are very productive and there are lazy plants. Therefore, I saw always more than one melon. Three or five, one or even more will be for sure the right one. The melon vine is very frost tender and cold tender too. It needs warmth to grow. What it also needs is light soil. I planted my first melon vines in heavy clay soil. And they did not die, but they were absolutely not happy. They grew slowly, bloomed late and poor. Next year I added some sand to the soil in the place for melons. It was much better. If you have enough place to let them creep, nice. If not, let them climb. They say that melon vine may not grow near another member of Cucubitaceae family because of high possibility of cross-breeding. Not true. My melons grow always next to pickles. They don't do it. I've learned them good manners. And if they will, I'll call the baby cucumbellon. Does not work. I've tried last year and failed. I've tried this year and almost failed. Happily, I've changed my mind just in time and replanted my melon as it should be. Oi! I did not plant it! They grow good. I have two of them already. Look, this one sits in container. Maybe it will manage to have a single melon. That's because the container stands directly on the soil. And through the holes in its bottom, the roots can grow into it. Or it must be a huge container for only one melon. Does not worth it. These babies like to be vined and dyed. The soil must be always moist and be fertilized every two weeks. They say that while melons are ripening, 
You must pour less water. Then they will be sweeter. I did not prove the difference. When the vine starts to lose its first blossoms, no stress. These are mostly male flowers. Female ones come later, as usual. Never remove the side shoots at the beginning. When you can obviously see the shoots with female flowers, only then start to cut off the big shoots and those with the male flowers. They also say that you must cut off the shoot with fruit two leaves further from the fruit. At the beginning I did it. Now not anymore. Very often such shorted shoot dries out and you will lose your melon. If your melon vine creeps, avoid that fruit contacts the soil or it may rot before it gets ripe. If your melon vine climbs, help it to carry the weight of the fruit or it may break and fall off and rot before it get ripe. A melon must get ripe at the plant and it will let you know when it is ripe. It will be on a beautiful summer day when you open the door of your greenhouse and smell nothing but melon. Do not wait too long to take your melon from the plant. In a day or two it will burst and become food for flies. Sweet melon is the human creation. The god's creation, a wild melon, was bitter and it grew in Africa. People there started to cultivate it not as food, but as beverage. Melons they grew in ancient Egypt were perfectly edible. Even the kings of Egypt wanted to take the sweet memories of them in their afterlife. And you know who else had sweet memories of melons? The Jewish people in the Sinai desert during their escape from Egypt, when they had enough of manna given to them by the god. Melon was also Egyptian export product to the Roman Empire between the others. And it seems that the Romans then took it all wrong. They ate melons as vegetables with salt and pepper. Maybe of all the melons, they liked cucumbers the most. And if you think that Christophorus Columbus did nothing else but bringing rare fruit from the New World to Europe, then you are wrong. One of the first rare fruit he brought from Europe to the New World was a melon or a watermelon, or both. The famous French writer Alexandre Dumas made once a great deal with the library of his town. In exchange for 400 volumes of his books, he asked one melon, a month, all year round, a lifetime, and he got it, all of them. And you know what's the most tricky thing about melons? Up to this moment, there is no efficient way to make essential oil from them. And the perfumers want it so badly. These are the funny things about melon. If you didn't know them before, well, you know them now. And now seriously, please subscribe my channel. And if you have already done it, send me your likes, please. 
I wish you many days as sweet as melon. Thanks for watching and see you soon in Mama's garden.